Hey guys, welcome back to another video. For today's video, I wanted to talk about something that is very important to me and very close and dear to my heart, which is mental health. It is no secret that I've actually had my fair share of experience with mental health. I have been professionally diagnosed with anxiety, depression, postpartum depression, as well as PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder. And I'm actually partnering up with the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs. And if you guys didn't know, I am actually married to a veteran. My husband and I have been together since we were 18. We got together right after boot camp. After that, he served in Afghanistan in 2011. He was in the front lines. He was an infantryman, so he was right there. He was pretty much dealing with combat situations almost daily. And I have been able to witness a lot of the side effects that going through something like that can do to a person, not only to him, but to his friends. I have seen grown men just cry because it's really hard to deal with everything after coming back. And unfortunately, we have heard of people that were there with them die by suicide. And I really, really want to bring awareness and let you know that if you are watching this and you are a veteran or you know a veteran, that there is help, there are resources, there are ways to get better. It is okay to ask for help. It is okay to also not be okay. You went through something traumatic, but there is help. I thought that by sharing my husband's story as well as my story, you can at least find peace and some sort of comfort that you are not alone in this. My PTSD is not combat related. I obviously didn't serve in the military, but I do have anxiety and depression as well due to abuse that I went through during my teens. Um, I went through pretty much almost every type of abuse that you can think of. Uh, I was also in a very abusive relationship. I have had some sort of emotional abandonment going on in my life as well so it's something that i've had to pretty much go through i have been at the lowest of the low with absolutely no desire to keep going but the good thing is that there is a way to come out of that i was able to come out of that because i used the resources that i had that were given to me ptsd mental health does not discriminate whether you are a service member female veteran male veteran even a civilian like myself it doesn't discriminate but there are resources for everyone i'm going to leave a ton of resources in the description box so you guys are able to reach out for help uh, and i think i'm going to keep repeating myself when it comes to this but there are a ton of resources that you can use in order to get out of whatever it is that you may be going through I know that this video may seem shorter than my normal videos, but I really, really wanted to make an emphasis and I really wanted everybody to really watch this video so that I can get my point across. And my point is that it is okay not to be okay, but it is okay to ask for help. I tend to self-isolate whenever I'm going through something and I start to feel very, very alone. And it's important to know that that is not the right way to go about stuff, that the right way to do things is to ask for help. And I know sometimes you can be scared to ask for help because you may have kids and you're scared of what the consequences may be. But it's important to know that because you're asking for help, that is a huge step forward. And it is the first step to actually getting out of whatever situation that you're in. September is Suicide Prevention Month and not just this month but every month it is important to let a veteran know how important it is for them to just be there, to be here, to stay, that they're wanted, that we need them here. You don't need any special training to help a veteran or to show them that you care. If you know one, reach out to them, see how they're doing because they have sacrificed so much some have even paid the ultimate sacrifice and if you know of, of a veteran i'm pretty sure they know of someone or someone that knows someone that paid the ultimate sacrifice and so or they paid the ultimate price it's very important that they know that there are resources that can help them through any challenging times that they may be going i'm going to include the veterans crisis line phone number as well as the website for you guys to be able to pass that information along that is going to be it for this video i hope that i was able to help 
provide at least some resources and if you're going through something i shared a video not too long ago of what i was going through and i found some sort of comfort in knowing that i wasn't alone and honestly i really thank you guys for that for being here and you guys have no idea how much you guys have helped me in my challenging times and i wanted to do the same and i'm really really grateful to have partnered up with the u.s department of veteran affairs for this video so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video bye